Mike Sadler for Speed and Shine, and today we're in Auburn, Indiana at their Auburn Americana show, home of the Auburn Cord Duesenberg, and it is a great show. Uh, we're trying to see some cars before it rains. Let's go see what we can find. Mike, this is a beautiful vehicle. What are we looking at? This is a 1948 Willys Jeep pickup truck. They never made a convertible that we made into a convertible. So what you're looking at is actually a street rod, of course. Uh, took three and a half years to build. Um, the front end is exactly all original. Uh, the hood is original. From the back end back, it's heavily cu customized, okay? So it's chopped three and a half inches on the windshield. It's extended 10 inches behind the door. Mm -hmm. And the big part of this truck is the back of the cab that went away where the back window was is now the back of the bed. So the bed is completely customized to this particular truck. So if we walk around here, you can, you can see all that. Um, but like I said, it took three and a half years. Uh, I'm a Jeep guy, so I have another 48 3A that's home in my garage um, that was mine in high school. So I'm, I, I love the 48s and I, particularly like this truck. It's a wonderful driving car. 350 small block with a 700 R4 transmission. Mm -hmm. it, it is a, a beautiful car to drive. It has disc brakes all around. Um, you never have to worry about this thing giving up on you and you can always stop it if it gets away from you. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it. And you did all this work yourself? Yeah, my, myself and Dan Corey, who's sitting behind us, it's in his shop. He, he did the 41 Plymouth and yeah, two and a half hours a night, and most weekends for three and a half years. A lot of work. I bet, and when you went for that first ride, how big was that grin on your face? Oh my gosh, it was crazy cool, because first of all, you build it, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And it doesn't drive like a 48, it drives like a modern car. Um, so yeah, when you're driving that, that first time it's like, oh my gosh, this, this thing really drives like a modern car and I've driven it for 13 years. It's been on the road for 13 years. It looks, amazing. it is, it's amazing. Now, what's the color called? It's, it's very striking. Uh, it's a Nissan color, a 94 Nissan color called Sunset Orange. Uh, I can't tell you the code on it. I, I mean, I could, but I'd have to dig through all my stuff. Um, but yeah, just something that came out in 94 uh, that was a interesting color orange. I saw the color at the Street Rod Nationals in 2007, and I said, that's the color the truck's going to be. Because you go through those periods while you're making the truck, at some point in time, okay, we got to think about what this is going to look like finished. Um, but when I saw that color, I said, that is the color for this truck. And I'm so glad I chose that because it's amazing how many people talk about the color being the right color for the type of vehicle it is. I agree with them. Can we look under the hood? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it, it looks just as great under the hood. What are we looking at? Uh, it's just a 74 350 small block. It is a four bolt main uh, that came out of a 74 pickup truck. So the four bolt main is a little stronger uh, engine that would have been maybe in a passenger car. Um, so nothing special as far as that. Uh, it does have kind of a, um, as far as the cam, we put a mild loping cam in it. So it's got some sound to it but nothing outrageous as far as power or anything, some headers. Uh, but the 700R4 transmission is a great transmission, a modern transmission that, um, you know, when you want to drive something down the highway, you don't have to worry about this thing not being able to do what you want it to do. Um, you, you're not going to do burnouts with this car. It's not right. geared for that. Right. 
but it's geared for performance and it's gear, uh, geared for uh, just nice riding, you know. Um, it's got a Mustang 2 front end, okay. um, a Ford 9 inch rear end. Um, original frame, original frame, uh, but the custom bed um, is, is the big ticket on this thing. It, you know, a lot, of, a lot of 48s back in the day, they had this nice curved front end, and, and, and it didn't mean, I mean, Jeep, Ford, they, uh, Dodge, they all did it. Mm -hmm. They had a nice curved front end, and then they had a very squared off boxy mm -hmm. bed. Yep. That's just the way they were made. So when we did this, it's like, okay, the bed's going away. We're gonna build a bed that's got the same radius, uh, the curves as the cab, and the one way that you do that is you cut the cab off, and then you take the back of the cab and make that your back piece of the bed, mm -hmm. and then build everything around that. And that's exactly what we did. If you look at the pictures, it was C-clamped up that way, and then all the two by two and the one by two structure for the bed was built and welded around that piece. Well, let's check that out. Okay. So the back of the bed is the back of the cab. So this piece here, this is the original back window, okay? So this piece here used to reside up here. So cut it at the belt line and then built, you know, then put it in place here and then built the bed around this. So you can see what's left of the back window, filled in. The WO logo was cut out of the old tailgate and welded in there. Uh, you've done a lot of work on this interior too. You know, the interior, what's neat, what's neat about the interior is this is the original dash, okay? This came out of a 48 Willys truck, as you see it. That original gauge cluster in the middle is the gauge cluster from a 48 Willys truck. Been refurbished and all original. Now, that was 6 volts, so we, we changed it with resistors, so it, it's 12 volt now. Glove box was original. Obviously, the stereo's not. Mm -hmm. But everything else, this, on original 48, used to have a tool kit that was in here okay okay we filled all that in what's nice about this dash is when we talked about doing it the gauges are in the middle and we did not want a bunch of extra switches to clutter up this beautiful dash so aside from turn signals a bright light indicator and uh, an ignition that's all you see here so the windshield wiper uh, switch mm -hmm. is hidden up underneath the, the additional lighting switches are hidden up underneath. The heater switch is hidden up underneath. Everything is hidden up underneath the dash so that you don't see all that extra noise, if you will, sure. in the dash. Well, it's so clean and, yes. and smooth. And, you know, the only problem when you have a speedometer in the center is the passenger always knows how fast you're going. And, you know, I've, I've found that to be true. <laughs> My co-passenger does indicate sometimes that I'm going too fast. Yeah, that's a drawback. So, I can see. <laughs> it really is. These seats look really comfortable. Now, what were those on? Out of a 1987 Ford Ranger pickup truck. And you 60, them. Yeah, 60 40, 40 bench split so that you have access to the back. And because of this 10 inch piece here, yeah. you have a lot of storage behind the seats. Well, this is a beautiful truck, and uh, you've done a great job. You should Thank do you. this for a living. Uh, I'm a jeweler. There's my story. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Bye. Yeah.
Stuart, this is a very striking car when I walked up. Uh, did you do all this work yourself? Uh, personally, uh, I was a sous chef on a lot of the work. Uh, I surround myself with mechanics that are a lot better than I am. I can do a lot of stuff myself. And uh, if I don't have anybody looking over my shoulder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, uh, I hired a lot of it done. Uh, it's been done uh, over the years. Uh, I started working on it uh, right after I got it in 85. Uh, as a kid, uh, I decided someday I'm going to have me a 50 Mercury. And then uh, I sold my motorcycles. I thought someone was going to run over me and my family on the sidecar. Mm -hmm. And so I actually sold them here at, before the park was built out here at the DeKalb County School. That's where they, and uh, I bought this Mercury. I found it in a Toledo paper, obscure little ad. And I bought it in 85 and uh, man, the rest is history. I, uh, the fellow that built most of it just left here a little bit ago. Uh, I was his sous chef. I air conditioned his shop for him as partial payment for, mm -hmm. for, and the LaSalle transmission, which is 83 years old, was put in in the car in 91 when it still had the flathead mm -hmm. in it. And then in 97, 95, I bought this engine and uh, uh, I procrastinated for a couple of years and would look at it in a garage and thinking, should I do this or not? <laughs> and I ended up doing it. And I got a hold of Mr. Goler, Goler Hot Rods, and uh, which is a friend of mine. He was close and uh, we set up a date and uh, of course I have got a lot of decoration on the engine. Uh, uh, the engine is stock. The carburation on it is Cadillac. The intake and carburetors are from Cadillac. 59 through 62, you could get three deuces on any Cadillac that you ordered. Mm. So on it, I've got, uh, uh, I just, I fix things, I drive it. Uh, I've, I just checked my odometer coming over here. It turned over 50,000 mile uh, when I got the car. Uh, it had sat outside for a couple of years. It was this color, yeah. and this top was on it. The yeah. sun visor wasn't on it. It had all its chrome on it. It had uh, spun aluminums on it and wrong radiator, but it had a great flathead in it. And uh, this mirror is right out of the 30s. Uh, it's a forward viewing mirror, side mirror. It's an aftermarket mirror. If you read what it says there, it says passing eye. You can adjust this mirror and this mirror so when the door is closed, you can actually see forward by pulling out just to the center line and you could view what was coming down the road at you by just in this mirror and this mirror. So you can see past the vehicle in front of Yes, you. just wow. by pulling out a little bit. Sure, sure. Uh, I use it as a rear view mirror now, and I keep this turned so I can't see forward. Otherwise, you'll throw up between your legs. Yeah. It's scary today. Bet. Um, have a great night. Yeah, thank you. Yep. I like to talk about it. Yeah, it's a great in fact, car. I like to talk. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yep. You bet.